I scooped a massive spoonful of oatmeal into my mouth, finishing the bowl while I stood, mesmerized by the slow drip, drip of the coffee into my mug, which always seemed to take forever. Saturdays were my favorite day of the week. My class didn't start until 11, meaning I could enjoy a lion, a leisurely breakfast, and go about my morning routine of stretches, preparing music for my class, and wait an eternity for the coffee to fill my mug. Which it now had. Finally. I topped it up with half and half, blowing into it before taking a sip, too impatient to wait any longer. Looking out of the window past the fire escape where I like to sit, I could just make out the bustle of the university street surrounding Washington Square Park. Although seeing the park itself was a stretch when my windows mostly faced the bricks of the building's opposite. My apartment was a shoebox at best, although I'd fallen in love with it the second I'd seen it. A tiny one-bedroom, the high ceilings in each room made it feel much bigger than it actually was. And although I earned a decent salary, it was all I could afford on my own. After I'd moved out of the apartment I'd shared with Richard, I was determined to live alone and stand on my own two feet. I walked through to my bedroom, placing my coffee on the dresser as I pulled my workout gear from the drawer. I'd taken a few more pieces from the new collection when I'd left the studio yesterday. Another matching set, and just as cute. This one covered in little green stars with the studio logo and tagline printed along the legs. Rushing through the tangles, I tied my hair back as tightly as I could. Pulling all the loose strands away, I topped it off with a little headband so there wouldn't be any flapping about to annoy me and stick to my face. My classes were always hard, but the Saturday ones were known for being particularly savage, usually used as a way to sweat out the night before or an excuse for a massive brunch afterwards. And I poured with as much sweat as everyone taking it. I'd even known a couple of riders to run out for a mid-class vomit, much to the amusement of everyone else although it seemed to be viewed as a badge of honor more than anything.